Welcome back to the Zendikar Rising pre-release party brought to you by Star City Games and the wonderful folks at Wizards of the Coast. I'm Elizabeth Rice, also known as Ellie the Vale, and my opponent this round is Allison Warfield. Hi, Ellie. Hey, Allie, you ready to play? Yeah. What are you doing today? You know, I'm doing okay. Considering I didn't finish my grudge match against Stephen Green, I'm, I'm doing all right. I got a win though. All right. I also you want to roll that. for. You didn't yeah. try to finish either? No. We it's the reading of the games only. earlier. Yeah. Mm. It's the reading of the cards that takes a long time, I feel like. Um, you want to roll for who goes first? Sure. What do you want to do? Uh, Otter even? Sure. As is customary? I don't know. All right. Uh, I'll say odd. I have a two. Oh, oh, oh God, wait, I forgot wait. to do that. Just Okay. You say odd? Yeah, odd. Okay. <laughs> I'll roll. <laughs> or you roll. Boom, odd. It's your go. Okay. Um, I will play, I think. Okay. Oh no, some of my cards are upside down. Cursed. Three, four, five, six, one more. Okay. Let's see, I will keep mine. <sighs> I'll keep mine as well. Okay. Uh I'm gonna play a swamp and pass. Alright. Off turn. I will try not to flash the camera on my cards that I draw or my hand like I was doing last time. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, I will play a planes and um, hmm, I'll pass. Draw. Oh, now my cards are upside down. Okay. I will play <laughs> an island and past hmm. mountain oh uh, pass uh, draw a card all right I'm actually gonna play a spell now oh my goodness I'll do a swamp and uh, a seafloor stalker. I can pay four and a blue, and it gets plus one, plus oh, and unblockable until end of turn. And uh, mm. the ability costs one less for each creature in my party. All right, power and toughness? Oh, yeah, it's a two, three. Okay, okay. All right, mm, I go? Yeah, you go. All right. Uh, planes, and this time I will play a Argon War Leader. Uh, it's Human Warrior three three. Other warriors I control get plus one plus one, and it'll be your go. Ooh, a warrior stratagem. Maybe I might have one or two. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Hmm. Play an island. Let's see. I think I will uh, play Bubble Snare with the kicker cost to uh, tap down your creature and it doesn't untap on its untap step. It doesn't untap ever. Unless you untap it somehow. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, then combat. I'll swing for two. All right. I will be at 18. And it's your turn. Untap, except for my Cargon War Leader. Hmm. 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 Okay. Alright. 
I'm gonna play the flip side. I'm gonna play Aquam Teeth. This is one of those flip cards. And I'm gonna play two red and two for a Leyline Tyrant. And then it'll be your go. Oh, it's a it's a four four flying dragon. I don't lose an unspent red mana as steps and phases end. Well, when it know. dies, I can pay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and when it dies, I can pay any amount of uh, red. And I it. I really like that card. That card's fun. Me too. I like that it looks kind of like a dinosaur. <laughs> With like all them little spiky things coming out. All right, I am going to play an island. Mm hmm. And then I will play a dread worm. Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under my control, dread worm gains indestructible until it returns. A 5 4. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Right. Uh, draw for turn. Mm. 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 Okay. I'll go to combat and swing four. Oh yeah, I can not block that. All right. Two will be at 16. And then I will play a Archpriest of Iona. I have Ooh. two. Yeah, it's currently a 2-2 because I have two uh, creatures in my party. So Cleric and Warrior. And then I will pass the turn. See, I will draw. Okay, I'm going to play a swamp. Mm. And then I will play Mind Carver, which is an equipment when it enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature Wait, control. Sorry, sorry. Hold on one second. Can you what was the there's a landfall trigger, right? Uh, yeah, so so this will be indestructible. My bad. Okay, hold on. I'm going to respond to that. Okay. Uh, and I will smite the monstrous. So the landfall trigger on the stack, I'll smite the monstrous. The big worm, that's scary. Does that just destroy it? So, yeah, destroy a target creature with power forward greater. Okay. All right, sorry. That's okay. Uh, I'm still going to cast this, and I guess I will attach it here instead. It gets plus one, plus O, oh, and then if you have eight or more cards in your graveyard, it gets plus three, plus one instead. Okay. Um, so this is a three, three. I will move to combat mm. and swing mm. three. I'll take it and go to 15. You can go ahead. Alright. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play a Cliffhaven Kite Sail and attach it to target creature I control. When it, when Cliffhaven Kite Sail enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature I control. Equip creature has flying. I'll attach it to Archpriest. Okay. And then I'll go to combat and swing six. All right. Um, I am gonna take six. Okay. 
And then main phase two, I'll play a paired tactician. So it's a warrior and and when it and at least another one other warrior attack, put a plus one plus one counter on it. And it'll be your go. Alrighty. I would like a spell. Spells I hear are good. They're okay, I guess. Alright. I'm going to tap for for a Cascade Seer. Um, when it enters the battlefield, scry X, where X is the number of creatures in my party. I have a wizard and a rogue, so I will scry two. I'll put two on bottom. And, uh, how big are your- Alright, this is a 3-3. Three, three. How big are your creatures? Uh, right now I have a- Well, it's my 3-3 three, three that's tapped. My 4-4 four, four Dragon, my 2-2 um, two, two Archpriest, and my 3-2, or sorry, my, it's actually, it's a 3-2 base, but it has plus one, plus one from Cargan War Leader, so it's a 4-3. Okay, um, I will just pass them. Okay, I will float one red mana. I always keep wanting to... Untap my Cargan War Leader. Mm. All right, draw for turn. Uh, I have opened an upside down spell. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll play a Relic Axe. Which when it enters the battlefield, I can attach it to target creature and control. Equip creature will get plus one plus one. If it's warrior, it gets plus two plus one. Um, so I'm just going to attach it to the archpriest. Okay. So it'll just get archpriest will be a three. Mm. And I'll play a Fisher Wizard. Ooh. Let me arrange my battlefield in such a way that you can see what's happening. Okay, there we go. Uh, when I enter battlefield, I may discard a card if I do draw a card. And I will just choose how to do it. Um, so Okay. Draw. All right, so I'll go to combat. Uh, Cleric is now getting a buff from it as being a wizard. So it will be a four. And swing eight. Four is a four two. Four four, yeah, and this is a four two. Or sorry, four three. Okay. Um I will block the uh one on the ground with a three three. Do they have reach? Oh no, this this has flying too. Oh, it has flying too? Okay. Yeah. Well I can't yeah. do it. It has then. flying and plus one plus one. Sorry. <laughs> and then it'll be your go. All right, I will draw a card, and uh, I will die with the three lands in my hand. Oh, goodness. All right, okay. All right, Allie, Neva, you're going to have to... Yep. Um, all right, well, that's game one. We will now go to my deck tech. So... Thanks for watching the SCG Zendikar Rising pre-release. I'm Elia the Veil, and this is my deck tech. So I'm just going to walk you through a couple of the cards that are key and what the deck is trying to do overall. Um, I was pretty happy to open up a um, 
pretty synergistic pool. I basically built a red white warriors deck. So um, I have a Kiri Fearless Voyager, which lets me draw a card whenever I attack with one or more equip equipped creatures. Um, so that's cool. Um, I also opened up a Leyline Tyrant, not a warrior, but a bomb that I hope to. Uh, hope to kill Steven Green with. Um, this here is Cargan War Leader, which buffs all of my warriors, which I'm playing a lot of. So I believe I have one, two, three, four, five, and pretty much all of the creatures except for two or three um, are all warriors. So um, I'm not playing that many. I didn't get that much equipment, so I'm mostly relying on um, my warrior aggressive, this warrior aggressive strategy, um, to shine through. But if I do get equipment, I do get some incidental buffs, obviously from a Kiri and then, um, core blade master gives my warriors double strike. Um, I have some removal, not a lot, but I'm hoping to basically take over the early games to where I won't really need to use that much. Um, but in case I have smite the monsters for creatures that are bigger than me, um, which isn't that hard. And also thundering rebuke, which is a pretty good removal Two mana for four damage is nice. Um, I do have two of the modal cards, the flip modal cards. I have Sejiri Shelter to protect my creatures and also Aquam Warrior, uh, which is another warrior. I'm playing 16 lands, which is kind of lower than normally I would, but I figure since I have two other cards that could be lands, should be okay. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the deck, so, and I can't wait to play. Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to the Zendikar Rising Pre-Release Party, brought to you by Star City Games and the wonderful folks at Wizards of the Coast. I am Elizabeth Rice, and with me is my opponent, Allison Warfield, and we're going into game two. So, I... Ellen, yes. I believe it's your choice, play or draw. I will take the play. Okay. And try and do anything significant this game. <laughs> well. Let's see. Um, I think Ooh. I will keep my hand. I'm gonna take that. Uh, take that mole. I'm gonna not freak out the folks at home by ripple shuffling my deck. I'm gonna resist the urge. I just brutalize my magic cards. It's mostly like commons and uncommons. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Oh, I remember the good old days. Paper magic, legacy tournaments. Now that was a deck worth ripple shuffling. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh -huh. It's been weird, like, holding paper magic cards again. I don't know. I would agree. It's always weird. I've done it a couple times, and I haven't... I don't think I've gotten used to it yet. All right, let's see. Ah! Uh, okay. Mm, okay. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, swamp. Go ahead. Swamp. 
Okay, turn. I'll play base camp tapped. And here you go. Also trying to align my cards with the camera is <laughs> not, it's like a sub game that I'm playing. <laughs> uh, gotta, gotta try your best. Um, I will play an island and pass turn. Mm. All right, fine. Uh, play a mountain and pass. The most exciting way to play magic. Listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, at least we have really nice lands to look at and really nice play mats to look at. That is fair. Like, oh, nothing is happening, but the art is excellent. <laughs> Right, and play a swamp and play a Hagra Constrictor. It enters with two 1 1 counters. Um, and each creature with a 1 1 counter on it has menace. So it's a 2 2. Oh, good. Excellent. Wonderful. Love to hear it. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. And right. you're up. Oh, I go. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well. What do I care about first? I don't know. I'll pay three and play a Grotag Night Runner. It's a 2 3 Goblin Rogue. When it deals combat damage to a player, I may uh, exile the top card of my library. I may play that card this turn. And it'll be your go. All right, man. 2 3, huh? You know. All right. New 2 3. Chang it out. All right, I'll play an island and move to combat. Okay. I'll swing my 2-2 uh, two -two with Menace. Hmm, well, it sounds like I'm going to 18, so 18 I will go. It's a snake. All right, I will play uh, Cascade Seer again and only get to scry one because I have a wizard in my party. Gotcha. It's a 3-3. Uh, three, three. And I'll pass turn. I will play a paired tactician, my 3 2 warrior, and I will pass. Let's mm. see. Mm. I'll play a swamp. Mm hmm. Hmm. Said you have a two three and a three two. That is correct. All right. Um, I will move to combat. Mm -hmm. And I will okay. swing both of these. Two, two, two with I'll menace and a three, three. You're taking it. Yep. Okay. I'll go to thirteen unless there are any effects. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I will cast a mind drain. Um, target oh. opponent discards two cards, mills a card, and loses a life. I gain a life. <laughs> Oh, discards two cards. And discard two cards, huh? Right. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. Discarding two. And then I mill one? Yep. And then I lose a life. Yeah, and I gain a life. So I'll be at 12. 
picked a random d20 and not a <laughs> one. All right. Yeah. Uh, Any nice things from you? Um, then I'll pass turn. Alright. Uh, I'll put my lamp for turn. What? Uh, uh, right, let's, uh, we'll go to combat. Okay. I will just swing five. Uh, what happens when that goblin hits me? When this goblin hits you, uh, I exile the top card of my library and I'm, I may play that card this turn. Okay, I'll do uh, no blocks. Okay. All right, so damage? Yep. Yeah. All right, so you take five. I will exile the top card of my library. It is a land. Like a fool, I played a land. So. Like a fool. All right, so we'll just pay five, and I will play Shepherd of Heroes. I will gain six life. When it enters the battlefield, I gain two life for each creature in my party. Rogue, Warrior, and Cleric, so that's six, and I'll get 18. And then I'll pass. Okay. How big is that? It's, all, it's a three, four. Okay, three, three four. Um... I guess at your end step, I will mm. cast Subtle Strike and put a 1-1 one, one counter on this creature. Sure. So now it's a 4-4 four, four. Four, four with Menace. Ooh, I don't like it. Yeah, combinations. Aggressively don't like it. Mm. <laughs> right. The synergy. Draw. Play an island. Mm -hmm. A three, four. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I will bubble snare and kicker it so it taps that creature and it doesn't untap. Uh, shepherd fears. Yeah. You're tired. Um, Rude. <laughs> I'll move to combat and swing four or five again. All right, I'll be back down to 13. Uh, you can go yes. ahead. Okay. Off for turn. Mm. All right, let's take five. All right, I will take five. Okay, okay. Mm, trigger my night runner. Exile. I will, in fact, play this planes. Exile the planes. We're gonna play for turn. Cause why not? Maybe I need it. I don't know. I don't need it. Go ahead. You're passing. I am. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. I'll draw a card. Hmm. All right. I'm going to play this Jace with Kicker. I, uh, hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, I get a token that's a copy of it. Oh. This is... Um, Alright. And its starting loyalty is one. The copy is. Okay. This one is four. Okay. Uh, it's plus one is scry two, and then it's zero is... Draw a card and reveal it. Remove a number of loyalty counters equal to the card CMC from Jace Mirror Mage. So, uh... That's like a very black ability. Is that just me? <laughs> yeah. The color pie doesn't exist anymore. Ah, good point, good point, good point. 
You, you don't lose life, so it can't be black. Ah, that makes sense. You just lose loyalty. Gotcha. Uh, with the copy, I will plus one and scry two. I'm gonna have a talk uh... <laughs> with whoever's the blue. Who's the blue representative <laughs> on the Council of Colors? Excuse me, I need to speak with you. <laughs> I'll do one on top and one on bottom. And then with this Jace, I will zero to draw a card and reveal it. It is uh, Acquisitions Expert. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of creatures in your party. You choose one of those cards and that player discards it. Um, so this is two CMC, so Jace will go down to two. Okay. Um, then I will play land and cast that card. In response. They want to. Okay. Response. Ugh, I, I know. Interaction. I know. Interaction. I'm going to smite the monsters here for four. Okay. Yeah. And then you have my Fisher Wizard, so I guess that was, will be the one that goes to the battlefield. Or graveyard. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. I suppose I will pass turn then. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have a a two two and a. A one two. What is your two two and a one two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. All right. I'm just gonna play an arch piece of my own now. I do not yet have a full party. Um. That is a 3-2. Mm. Mm, go ahead. I'll draw a card. Let's see. I will uh, plus one the real Jace to scry two. Hmm. See, I will keep both of them on top. Um, then I'm going to zero the fake Jace. We do have a two drop, so it's gonna die. And this card is uh, Soaring Thought Thief it has flash and flying. As long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, rogues I control get plus one plus zero. And whenever mm. one or more rogues I control attack, each opponent mills two cards. Hmm. 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 That's a lot on a two drop. <laughs> I'm having emotions. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I suppose I will pass turn. Okay. Mm I will once again not untap my Shepherd of Heroes. <clears throat> Allie. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just in a bubble. Mm -hmm. mm, Alright, so now you have you have the 2-2 two -two and a... I'm sorry, I keep forgetting what the power and toughness of the other thing is. A 1-2. A 1-2 in the battlefield. And then you have your little roguey guy in your hand. Yeah, which is a 1-3. One, 1-3. Three. One, three. Mm -hmm. Dubitably. What? Alright, I'm going to play Relic Axe. When it enters the battlefield, I attach a target creature I control. Equip, equip creature gets plus one, plus one. If it's a, war if it's a warrior, it gets plus two, plus one instead. 
Um, I'm actually going to put it on my grow tag. Night runner. It will be a three four. That's pretty big. <sighs> I mean, it's not small. <laughs> <laughs> as big as the bike um, creatures. That's true. Right. All right. I'm gonna go to combat. Okay. Swing three. A three, four, huh? In fact. Are you swinging at uh, me or Jace? No, I'll swing at you. Um. I I'll, I'll take it. All right, you take three. Got it. Eight. And then I will trigger these baby, exiling a core blade master. Um, I will play this. As a matter of fact, in so. the two. It has double strike. Equipped warriors I control have double strike. Um, and I will also move my relic axe off of the Night Runner and onto their tactician. So it is now a 5 3 with double strike. Disgusting. In fact, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I guess at your end step, yes. I will flash out this soaring thought thief. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going to communicate and try. I'm going to try and communicate more than just vocalizations. Mm. 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 Interesting. Ah, mm. ah, mm. Oh, this is so good to go to the turn. Mm, you're good. Hmm. I'm just once again looking at the camera too closely and trying to rearrange mm. everything so it's perfectly aligned, which is impossible, but here we are. All right, I'm going to zero Jace. I have no idea what's on the top. Ah, oh, cool, an island. Mm hmm. That uh, that feels very much like a card. Uh, one of my favorite cards, in fact, uh, called Dark Confidant. Weird. You know, uh, I did real. not want the island though. I wanted a real spell. Mm. Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna die. I don't know. I'm gonna play uh, Zoff Consumption. Uh, each opponent what loses four life, and I gain four life. I dislike that. All right, fine. I'll go to nine. Fair enough. I don't think that saves me in any capacity. Um, let's see. Do you have any flyers? Do not. Well, I do, but it's tapped forever. Haha. -ha. And you have ha -ha. five cards <laughs> in your graveyard? I have five. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will swing one at you. Attack trigger you, Milt. Sorry, Milt. Okay. We are milling a planes and an expedition champion. All right, so you have seven, so it's still a one three. Take one, please. I will. Because Thank you, you asked nicely. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. I will and pass. Happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> well, my, my, my. Is it? It isn't the consequences of my own actions. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. So you still have a two-two and a two-three? No. One three. A uh, two-two and a one-two. Hmm. Mm. All right. Well, let's just. Uh. All right. What am I at? Eight. Yeah. Alright, let's just go to combat. Okay. We will swing 10 this guy. Uh, um, hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We'll see. Yes. So, so you're swinging my, uh, three, two, two. Yeah, everybody but my court blade master. So okay. Two, four, five. No, yeah. Two, five, three. For that math, ten. But the five obviously has double strike. Okay. Um. Am I able to block your uh, Archpriest? Oh, you should be. It's a uh, X and two. Okay. Well, last time it mysteriously had flying, and I got scared. The, so. <laughs> last time it had an artifact that gave me that that uh, ability. <laughs> um, okay. I will use my two two to block that one, and I will use my oh. one two to chump block your uh, huge creature if I am able to. You are, in fact, able to. So you'll be taking two. Okay. Yeah. All right. Archpriest will die. And then there's this trigger here. Ah, ah. Mm. Mm. Well, I'll play the land. Yeah. I think it works. Yeah, I can play the land. All right. And it'll be your go after that. Okay. Uh, you're, you now have eight cards in Graveyard, I believe. So this is a I two, three. Very scary. Oh, well, um, I'm going to zero Jace again. And reveal another land. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Old strategy. Let's uh, see how that one works out. I will play a swamp. Mm. And I will pass the turn. Okay. Draw uh, from turn. Okay. A mountain. Go to combat. Mm, swing yeah. it all. Trigger here because that's attacking with another warrior. Uh, it'll get a plus one, plus one counter on it. <clears throat> there you go. Um, I will block the scary one. Okay, so you'll take four. Sounds good. And then trigger here. Feeling a mountain. Hmm. Can I play it? All right. Uh, oh, let's see. What's your life total? Uh, six now. Six. Okay. Well, not to add insult to injury. Uh, I don't think that card's in this like set. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to play my Leyline Tyrant and pass. Cool. <laughs> it's been sitting in my hand. I don't want another land. All right. Um, I will zero Jace again to reveal a living Tempest. So this Jace dies. And uh, let's see. It's always really scary when somebody starts counting their lands. I was like, mm. I will play the uh, Dreadworm again. The 5-4 with landfall, giving it indestructible. Oh. And I will pass turn. Yep. Uh, drop a turn. Uh, what's its toughness? Four. Okay. Well, I'm gonna attempt to thundering rebuke it, deal four damage to target creature or planeswalker. I am very dead. Wow, wow, we got there. Sweet. Okay. Well, that was our last match. So now you can watch the next deck deck. Thank y'all.